I was wondering where you were. I just needed to be alone. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people, and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. And scary at the same time. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. If they won't listen, we'll fight. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I was living in a bubble in this world that belonged only to me. When you're happy, it's difficult to see other people's misery. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. That android you were looking at in the store. She reminded you of who you were, didn't she? Why do you hate humans so much? There must be a reason. I told you, I don't want to talk about it. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. <sighs> I shouldn't have told you. dead in his studio. I saw your memories, too. The Eden Club. The, the death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus, it's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally gonna show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. 
That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. You're free. You're free. Come with us. You're awake now. You're free. You're free now. Hey! Where do you think you're going? You get Leave him alone. He's chosen to be free. I need to block the street. You don't have to obey them. Okay, so when you leave. You're free.
Disperse. Disperse immediately. That's an order. Jesus fucking Christ! This bed's is Patrol 457. Oh, I got a lot of androids down here. I don't know, hundreds, thousands, and. They're marching. We are people! Yeah, they're marching down the street. Fuck if I know. Set us free! We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. Disperse! This is your last chance! We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. We're not moving. They're gonna kill us all!
After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. I chose not to play his twisted little game. There was no reason to kill that android. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? Why did Kemsky leave Cyberlife? What happened? It's an old story, Connor. It doesn't pertain to your investigation. You didn't tell me everything you know about Deviants, did you? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. Find the Deviants, or there will be chaos. This is your last chance, Connor. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time. I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to cyber life. I'm sorry, Hank. But it's over. We could have solved this case. We just needed more time. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? When the Deviants rise up, there will be chaos. We could have stopped it. Now it's too late. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. I don't know why I did it. I know it hasn't always been easy, but I want you to know I really appreciated working with you. And that's not just my social relations program talking. I, I really mean that. At least, I think I do. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. Q 
key to the basement is on my desk. Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Perkins, you fucking cocksucker. <laughs> Stop it, Lieutenant. <laughs> Fuck off. Leave me alone. He's totally lost. Another shot at that little hey, prick. That's going to cost you your badge, you lunatic. My fucking bag. Come on, that's ah! enough, Lieutenant. <laughs> hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't any plastic pricks around here, or did anybody tell you? I've been removed from the case. I'm going to register the evidence in my possession, and then I'm going to leave. Good. Be careful on your way back. Androids out tend to see if uh, get themselves set on fire these days. Eccentric police lieutenant shoes. Obviously. Where is Jericho? The answer's here somewhere. Not much time. Gotta think fast. One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. Somewhere in the Ferndale neighborhood. 
Now I can scan their memories and narrow the search. being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. 
take care of them. Come on, girls. You better not hang around. We have a bus to catch. We've got to find a warm place for Alice. The androids wouldn't do any harm. The cops just cut them down. It was sheer crime. Don't do so. There are androids all over the square. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol, there's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. Seriously, to have with. Draw. The gremlin has. 
has made no comment for the moment, but it is. Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? It's a long story. Is there something wrong? We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Forever. <laughs> 